Welcome back to another episode of That Arrow Show. Tonight's episode, Birth of, I mean, The Canary. We're going to get into the good, we're going to get into the bad, and we're going to get into the Laurel. Alright, preview first. So, Laurel was like, fuck it, it's crime in time. <laughs> and she... <laughs> <laughs> and she teamed up with AI Plug at every turn. <laughs> Felicity was like, God damn. <laughs> but Felicity and Dinah and Sarah. and Sarah went after Laurel. And okay. Alright, let's get into the Laurel. Go. I once saw a guy. Wash a chicken in a washing machine. And I thought that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen on the planet. And then this episode came out. <laughs> like, there was no rhyme or reason to anything. It was like, Laurel went, I want to be a bad guy now. Even though I really want to be a good guy. He, like, yeah. It, oh, it, so. it, it didn't make sense. First of all, when Sarah showed up, that should have been the end of the episode. Because the fact that they struggled to fight against her. It puts all the rest of the canon to shame because it doesn't make sense. So this is my thing. Now, I personally try to wipe every episode of Arrow out of my brain after watching it and after doing this show. Couple that with a hiatus, I can barely remember what happened before. But Laurel wasn't strapping up to go out and, and do hood or rat shit with her friends the last time we saw her. No. So this change comes out of nowhere. The last time we saw her, Emmett Cole was pulling her whole card and was like, I'm going to snitch on you or I'm going to frame you or whatever. And then she was like, I'm going to leave. And then the next thing you know is I'm putting on uh, Serge Banks a lot suits. Like, what... It was like a... Was this a teenager? Is Laurel a teenager? It, it's like the writers forgot what they wrote about early in the season. And my question is, what was the name of the villain she was working oh, with? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I... I'm, I'm, I'm going to interrupt you guys. Every woman on this episode was annoying and stupid. <laughs> let, let, let's, just, let's cut the pretenses. You trying to go through plot appointment. This was fucking garbage. <laughs> Every woman on this episode was annoying and stupid. The action was garbage. It literally looked like pillow fight. <laughs> what's, what's Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Thief. Shadow Thief. Okay. When Shadow Thief is introduced to Laurel... And he's still gone. <laughs> when Shadow Thief is introduced into this episode, it's made us to believe that she's met her in this world in some, in some form. But every time we've seen Laurel, she's been with... Dia. A group. So when the hell did they ever meet up? Shut up. That's what happened. <laughs> like, like, you're trying to put together a timeline and shit. They don't care. And the whole time... Yeah. And the whole time when they did this thing, I was like, this is a redemption thing. And then the whole thing with Laura's like, I'm a bad guy, but I want you to come and save me and tell me how important you are. I was like, this is fucking five-year-old writing, man. Yeah, and that that literally made no sense that I'm a bad guy, I'm trying to do something bad, but you talk me out of it, I'm going to switch sides, and all is forgiven. But mind you, you killed a bunch of people on the way to doing this. Oh, let's get to that last scene when they light up, when they... In, in activate the bomb. They killed a room, a warehouse full of people. And they blocked it with a fucking table. No, 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 not oh, that one. At, at the, the end, end, when they set the bomb. This shit blurred together. Oh. When, when the bunch of people came in with guns and shooting, and they activated a bomb and blew up the fucking warehouse. I was like, don't you, aren't you a cop? And they killed Shadow Thief. Oh, <laughs> They say she got away. Shadow Thief got away. I understand how you missed that part. <laughs> this well, episode was stupid. But they're fucking cops. Supposedly. So let's talk about that. So can I can I go now? If I interrupted you guys. So let's talk about that cop thing. <laughs> um wow. So you are I'm talking about Dinah. You are a licensed vigilante by the police and you just went out there on your own and did whatever. You literally let a known cr 
criminal that is on the run get away several times if you reform this bitch and let this bitch run away again to her own dimension. Not to mention, when you was in the fucking police station, you literally told on yourself in front of police to Felicity that Laurel had been killed ever since she became DA. Yeah, that was kind of weird to me. Like, you like said, he said that in the police station, in front of in, in front of a police officer. So here, so 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 this is the part that really irked me about this situation. Okay, Laurel, Laurel going bad out of nowhere at the beginning. Okay, I get it. You don't want to set it up, <laughs> <laughs> but. They said, but but when they do that, this whole episode pretty much, I'm not going to say it was telegraphed that this bitch was going back to her planet, but it was telegraphed that things would never be the same for her because you were the fucking D. We are on our last fucking season. And then at the end of the episode, we gotta pad this shit. at the end of the episode, when they like cleaning it up, they're like, they're saying the DA was working undercover. Why are you cleaning it up? She's going back to her dimension. Who cares? How the fuck? Okay. Y'all kill people. Okay. <laughs> how, do you exactly. clean, how do you clean that up as the DA? First of all, I know she, the DA, nobody know how law works. The DA does not go undercover. Exactly. And and and, and let's fucking forget that the Star City police are fucking corrupt because Oliver Queen, when he was the mayor or I forgot. No, the, this is post that. This is post that. No, no, but but this but this shit but this shit had layers. Like ever since he was the mayor, like the, the corruption never went away. No, that no, nobody the people who write this show do not know how law and order works. DAs do not go undercover for missions. That's not how that works. But even, but even, yes, that's true. But let let ride the crazy train. Then even it, after all of that, you have to get a new DA now. This isn't about. Are, are we just gonna ignore that? This isn't about whether or not DA can go undercover or whatever bullshit they're talking about. This is the fact that they covering up the crimes that she committed while she was undercover. Yeah, they basically just let her slide and go away. Um, the redemption was weak. Um, if I had no, you would think we'd be happy that this is Laurel's last episode. Like this was, this felt like such a waste. Like when real Laurel died, that actually almost kind of felt like a, that was a decent send off for us. Exactly. And for the, for people who didn't like Laurel that we, much. We laughed but, her ass off the show. Yeah. But oh, yeah. like today I was just, I was like, wow, this is how they send her off. <laughs> but like, if you wow. notice like all of the send off at the word this season have been people are just been leaving they be like I'm fine I'm like, I'm, I'm done I'm fine <laughs> no one's listening to me I'm done peace well, out let me get to my uh, last Laurel the whole feature stuff Start with the whole spinoff stuff. It's not going to happen. Nobody gives a shit about Felicity's daughter. Nobody cares about the people in the future. I don't know what they wasted time on this future arc because they literally have nothing to write about in the present. Hell, Oliver wasn't even doing shit for half the screen. It's still messing with low budget Thor. So, like the future shit, and then it went nowhere too because now I got to watch a, a bitchy 18 year old. Who can't get her way wine for 30 minutes of the episode. And then this yeah. whole canary underground faction. I was like, hey, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, we, we're the canary. <laughs> um, so quick thing. What what was Oliver and Diggle doing? What were not, absolutely nothing. They were playing Uno. They were Look, playing Uno with Budget Thor. What was the, like, seriously, like, I, I literally didn't catch it. Why did they go after him? They were looking for someone that paid him to do something, and he never gave up the information. The biggest F you into this is, this is the first time Oliver has met the Longbow Hunters, and this is how he meets them? You would think it would be a bigger deal, yeah. but it's not, because shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's it for another episode of That Arrow Show. This episode stink, and everybody should feel bad for yeah. making it. This was terrible. Mm -hmm. like, one last thing before we get out of here. Felicity was able to retrofit the sonic device that Laurel had and gave it to Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, mind you, they want to clean it up and make it look like Felicity gave it to, to Dinah at the end. No, Sarah left it for Dinah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Why did it take so many episodes?
episode. Like, they've had the technology for Canary Cry. Why yeah. has it taken so many episodes to give it to Dinah? To give it to Dinah? It took her damn near crying on the floor. Felicity, I can't cry no more. Oh, well, you know, I got one on my shelf. I would give it to you, but, you know, I'm a bitch right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, instead of the person, instead of being friends with the woman that I work with actively, I'm going to be friends with this person that I literally didn't like last year. You mean the person that stole $70 million <laughs> from, <laughs> from the city from, and, from, and, and to, got my husband fired and put in jail? And tried to kill them several times? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's who I'm going to be friends. And kill the boyfriend of the woman that I should be friends with that work in the police station. <laughs> also, also don't kill the mother of my stepson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>